My name is Nicole Husbands. I'm the Young Adult and Outreach Services Librarian at Indian Valley Public Library. So when I started at Indian Valley Public Library in 2013, I was an intern and I saw this. Oh, the Cicada Time Capsule. I saw that it was sealed on July 22nd, 2004. And then it wasn't supposed to be opened until May 1st, 2021. So my first instinct was to try to open it, <laughs> but I did not. Um, I did not open it in 2013, but and it kind of was put in storage. I don't know where it went, but it reemerged this year. And thank goodness it did, because this is the year we're supposed to open it. So what do you think is inside this time capsule? I'm just gonna let you think about it for a minute. Not a minute, not a full minute. I'll let you think. What do you think's in there? Okay. Okay, that's interesting. All right, all right. So let's find out if you are correct. Are you ready? So, you know, one of the things I didn't actually think about is like, how am I actually supposed to open this? I don't hope I don't need any tools to get this open. Let's see, I'm gonna turn it to a side and try to, oh. <laughs> that was simpler than I thought. Okay, so it just had a nice big capsule that came off top of it. And let's see what's inside. All right, so the first thing I'm pulling out is the cicada photos from 2004. Cicada photos out of four. The next thing, it looks like it is going to be, um, I guess, a recording from WNPV News that was recorded on June 14th, 2004, from 7.30 to 8, 7.30 and 8 a.m. So I'll see what's on that disc. Okay. And we actually have the DVD, The Cicadas of Salford Township, 2004. And I know we have this as something that you can check out from the library, not this particular one, but we have another one on the shelves. I actually think it should have checked out now, but if you're interested in it, I'll put the link below in the description and then you can put a hold on it and we'll save it for you when it comes back in. If you wanna see what's on this DVD. Oh, let's reaching in. Okay, so this is in this envelope says, audio tape, excerpts of National Park broadcast that includes the Cicada love song. Comments from attendees of the Cicada Time Capsule Ceremony at IV Library, July 22nd, 2004. So I wonder, were you here when they sealed this time capsule? I wonder if you're on the recording. I would love to find out. What's up? All right. Info from Nanny's Bulletin Board. And Cicada 2004, Nanny's Family Store. So what's inside of these different envelopes? All right, so this says Cicada Brood number 10, t-shirts, $10. And I think I see something made out of fabric down here. So this, I wonder, if, I think this might be the t-shirt. I think this might be the t-shirt that they were referring to. It's kind of windy out here. So hope, we'll probably find a place in the library that you can examine all these things that's in there. What else does it have in here? So there are some newspaper articles. And yeah, more newspaper articles. So there are uh, Nanny's fact sheet about cicada. So we'll find some place. I'll talk, I'll talk to the other staff members and we're, we're gonna figure out how we can display this so that you can take a look. So let's put this back in here so I don't lose it. It's kind of a windy day, isn't it? <laughs> let's put that here. And then let's look at store stuff. Oh, so 
so it looks like there are some photos like little screen caps of photos I wonder if any of you are in me and let's see next Nanny Cicada Caravan and so this was at the they assembled at Nanny's family store in Talisport um, and then it was they drove to certain places and so these are the directions that they went there was a photo contest and more fact sheets about it so it looks like it was a really fun event I was not around in 2004 to be a part of this event. I was, uh, yeah, I was in Philadelphia. I'm still in Philadelphia. Okay, and so this was actually wrapped up in the t-shirt. It says, this is Monday, June 1st, 2004. Wayne t-shirt guy. Hello, Wayne. I've attached a very rough draft of a t-shirt that I'd like you to produce for Cicada Sunday, scheduled on June 13th. Please give me a buzz. And it has information about the store and how to get in touch. And that was the shirt that was produced that I showed you a little bit earlier. So let's see what else is in here. Oh gosh, it's a VHS. So we have this on DVD, but I don't know if any of you, I know some of you are watching, remember when we had to watch movies on this. But, and if you don't remember having to watch movies on this, ask <laughs> people around you. They'll tell you about it, tell you about rewinding it, or watching something over and over again, and then like it gets wearing out, the tape gets worn out. But this has the same information that the DVD had. You'll just need a VCR <laughs> to play it. All right, I gotta reach in there more. Oh, let's see what else. Okay. Oh, well, I guess this actually has the table of contents of, of everything that's in here. Um, let's see. And there's even more envelopes. So let's look at the different envelopes. So this one is Cicada 2004 News Stories. So it contains different um, articles, including uh, ones from the reporter, some local papers that we, we have at the library. So that would be fun to go for when it's not really windy. <laughs> The next thing is to the Cicada 2004 technical info. Technical info. That's in this envelope. So this looks like it has basically a lot of, a lot of background information about the last time they came out. Um, and also just like a little bit more about them. So if you're interested in learning about the cicadas, that's what that envelope's for. And then there's the Cicada 2004 recipes and related recipes. What kind of recipes do you think's in here? Are we gonna be catching some cicadas to try to eat them? I don't know. I mean, I've eaten bugs before and there are a lot of places who, um, who use that as their main source of protein. So it's not like it's weird, it just it's not something we always do. So it looks like there are some different recipes, yes, that are related to eating cicadas. So um, I wonder if I have any of the ingredients to make this. Well, I actually, I don't have the cicadas right now. I don't know where they, they are, so I can't make them. Darn. <laughs> but maybe if we catch some, we can, um, we can do this. I know this one's from Eat a Bug Cookbook, and I think we might actually have that. And if we don't, we can try to get it through interlibrary loan for you. So that is everything. That was everything that was in here. Um, if you're interested in learning more about it from a professional, you can join us on Tuesday, May 4th at 7 p.m. We're going to have the Philadelphia Insectarium and Butterfly Pavilion give a presentation on Zoom of, to learn about cicadas. So you can register. I'll put the link in the there, and um, well, hopefully you'll come to learn more. Or if you have any questions that you'll need to need answered, they are professionals and they probably can answer it better than I can. So I want to thank you for watching me open and and struggle through opening all the contents. 
of the uh, cicada time capsule I am glad there was there weren't any cicadas in there because and that's the part of the reason why I did it outside just in case I had to run away and scream but I did not have to do that so hopefully when they emerge by the time they start making all the noise and all this stuff we will know a lot more about them because you would come to our event on Tuesday, May 4th at 7 p.m. to learn from the Philadelphia Insectarium more about the cicadas. And I am going to figure out where we can put the information that was inside this time castle that you can explore and go through. For joining me uh, and say hi to me next time you're in the library. Don't forget to check our calendar on IVPL.org for more events that are coming up, including the one that's the cicada uh, by the Philadelphia Insectarium. Um, and